My soul is frozen, I don't hurt anymore. My heart's been broken, maybe worse than before. Oh, all right. Let's get it. So now, let's flip the page. Let's get into it. Everybody here, everybody here that's going to be here, those who's late, give them a tardy pass. So let's go ahead and flip the page. Oh, man, this is how we starting. This is how we starting right here. I already highlighted for you. All right. Eugenics, racial integration, I mean integrity, eugenics, racial integrity, CIA document, archives.org. What's happening, Kenya? So now it reads. We're going to do the highlighted part, and then we can double back if y'all want to. But the highlighted part said the one exception to the quote-unquote pure blood requirement for classification as a white person was that quote-unquote persons who have one-sixteenth or less of blood of the American Indian or and have no other Caucasian blood shall be deemed to be white persons. Walter Plecker, 1925. Let me read that again, <clears throat> just in case those missed it in the back, because we read something totally different before, right? Right, because that Indian blood, we're going to get into it anyways. One more time for the people in the back, repetition is the father of learning. What's happening, TJ Matt? The one exception to the pure blood requirement for classification as a white person was that, quotation, Persons who have one sixteenth or less of the blood of an American Indian and no other Caucasian blood shall be deemed to be a white person. Stop. How can you be deemed a white person with no other Caucasian blood? Somebody let me know. What is a what, hold on for one? I didn't even know that there was different type of Caucasians out here. I thought they all came from the Caucasus Mountains. Were well, you from the west side of the Caucasus Mountains or the south side? I'm trying to figure this out. But they said no other non Caucasian blood shall be deemed as white persons. How? A lot of people on the reservations, they should say white, believe it or not. I got the Oklahoma. I got the Oklahoma rolls. Oh, yeah. I got the Oklahoma tribal rolls. to give you a whole list of everybody that's there on the reservations and used to be on the reservations that passed on. All day classifications say white. I promise you it do. All right. So now. And the eugenics necessity for racial separatism. Oh, and for people that don't know, the dude Cox. That's Jim Crow. That's where you get Jim Crow from. Cox, blackface. All right. So now, in an article in Richmond Newsletter in June 1923 described the goals of the Anglo-Saxon Club of America, the fundamental purposes of the organization is the preservation and maintenance of the Anglo-Saxon ideals and civilization in America. This proposal is to be accomplished in three ways. First, by its strengthening of Anglo-Saxons' instincts, traditions, and principles among representatives of our original American stock. Hmm. Second, by intelligent selection and exclusion of immigrants. Listen, by intelligent selection and exclusion of immigrants meaning meaning y'all know how only certain mexicans can cross the border and come over here and get their green card while the other ones get turned the fuck away and you be wondering like what the fuck going on selection they're being selected to come over here why others not now the other ones is not being selected to come over here they have close ties to us and any other so-called immigrant that they turn away, they have close ties to us, believe it or not. And the ones that they do select to come over here, 
they have ties to them. Okay? Keep up. Right. Infiltration. Oh. So now. <laughs> so now by intelligent selection and exclusion of immigrants. And third. By fundamental and final solutions of our racial problems in general. Most especially of the Negro problem. That Native American problem. <laughs> Not Native American problem. Every document that I bring to you guys and every in the Virginia colonies when we got reclassified. He can't speak for us. And we need to stop letting a lot of motherfuckers speak for us. We need to stand up. I'm being real. I don't like none of these black leaders out here that be on TV shucking and jiving and shit like that. They all sellouts. And they all K-O-O-Ns. They all. All. They all. They don't speak for me. Tariq Nasheed, he don't speak for me, nigga. Omar Johnson, you don't speak for me. Okay? Farrakhan, you damn sure don't speak for me, Mr. Mason. Ba uh, <laughs> Boule. <laughs> you feel me? Don't none of them speak for me. Until somebody knock on my door and ask me, hey, do you want to be labeled as an African-American? Don't call me that. Don't call me black either. I check you in your shit. <laughs> For real, I check you in your shit. Don't call me that in my face. You better call me that shit behind my back. Them folks don't speak for us, and we got to stop letting people speak for us. These rappers don't speak for us. These celebrities don't speak for us. Jay-Z bitch ass don't speak for us. Beyonce hoe ass don't speak for us. None of these celebrities speak for us. Lil Wayne don't speak for us. T.I. don't speak for us. Don't none of these bitch ass sell out ass niggas speak for us. Excuse my language. I keep it raw. I keep it uncut. I'm not going to come to you. I'm not going to come to you. Yes, my brother and sister, this is what happened in 1826. The white man. I, mean, I ain't about to do all that. Because the stuff that was done to my people, it wasn't cordial. Poisoning our kids ain't cordial. I ain't about to be cordial with you either. You understand me? And Walter Plecker reclassification. And it says from top to bottom, hang in there. Yes, get it. Categories, white and colored. The colored category was subdivided into free and slave. In the 1920s, when Walter Flecker and his friends got the Racial Integrity Act passed, colored had been defined as Negro, Booker said. Indians who had been considered colored now were considered to be black. He could change records, and he did, Booker said. If anyone came in and said, I'm Indian, Plecker could say, your grandfather was free Negro, so you're a Negro. That sounds familiar, right? Hmm. Okay. Actually, the grandfather wasn't listed as Negro at all, but as colored free. Plecker browbeat local registers into, into changing records. He made a list of surnames of people who claimed to be Indian. He browbeat hospitals. We know who these people are. You know who they are. Hospitals learn not to record these family names as Indian. What? What this is, is documentary genocide. You only died on paper. You only died on paper. I'll clip this, make a video. I'm gonna make a video to this. I'm gonna post it on my main page though. I just gotta, you know, I gotta I, I gotta bring my class. I gotta I gotta present the new gems to the class first. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody that's in here. Y'all getting a live sneak preview. Then I'm gonna post this shit for everybody else to see it. You know what I'm saying? So let me catch up in the comments real quick. Don't forget Melville Herskovitz and Elise Herdelik. Ah, yeah, them boys was in the same time.
All on was part of the Anglo Saxons Club of America. That's the connection. That's the After this there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Shout out to 